girl, Miss Basketball, and this is NBA 2K League Behind the Screen. I got four-year veteran DT from 76ers GC. Let's go. Shout out to DT from the 76ers joining us. What's going on? What's up, guys? What's up? So what are you doing to relax? Because I see the background. The background looks dope. Somebody <laughs> getting this money. After a game, just kind of taking like some me time. Just watching some TV, going out with friends, just doing stuff outside the game. Because every time I'm on the game, I'm just a little bit stressed. So you are from Windsor, Ontario, which is in Canada. Tell me, what was it like growing up in Windsor? Um, it was a really tight-knit city. Everyone kind of knows everyone. There's a lot of people, though. So um, there's always something to do. And a lot of tourists do go there. So what was your childhood like? Growing up, I played a lot of video games and sports. Those were basically my two things. I was really good in school. My mom made, made sure of that. Um, that was the only way she would let me play video games. So after school, I would usually go into sports. I did track and field for a little bit. Um, a lot of people actually don't know that. What were your events? 100 and 200. And then I also ran cross country. I played basketball as well. And then on the other side of things, I picked up Call of Duty when I was probably around like eight years old. Uh, which is really young. No way. Yeah, I just played the game uh, and then I started playing competitively around like 11, 12, like competing for money. That's when I really got good ever since then. Like I just like playing video games for money. How did your mom feel about you at 11 years old playing video games for money? My mom was more lenient than my dad. Uh, they were kind of turned off by it, but I was doing good in school, like I said, uh, they, so they couldn't really say anything. So as long as I was going to sleep on time, um, they didn't care what I do in my free time. <laughs> so I would just, like, I, I would play all night, go go to school, do my work, and then uh, just repeat. And then I got to 2K around like 14 or 13. Now I got to 2K early, around like 2K 11 is when I first got to 2K. Um, and then I played both, those were my two games. and. I mean, so that means you were spending so much time on your console. If I could break up my life into three parts, it was literally sports, video games, and school. Those were, I had no time for anything else. Did you have any brothers and sisters? Uh, I have one older brother. Um, and then growing up, he... Did he play video games? A little bit. I was way more into them, and I was just way better than him at, at them. He was older, so he could get the games that I couldn't get. Um, so, and then when we'd go to like midnight releases in Call of Duty when they used to have those, and I remember in midnight releases back then, if, if you won, like they would do a tournament, and if you won, you got a free copy of the game. I'm a 12 year old little kid just smoking them, and they don't know what to do, and my brother's in the back laughing. For me, it wasn't even about the money, like, it, the competing wise for money, like that, I love it. I was 12 years old, when I would lose a tournament, I was crying. So in high school, I started realizing that, hey, I'm actually really good at this and I'm kicking everybody's butt. Actually, my freshman year, ninth grade, um, I just realized like I had no time for all of this. So in ninth and 10th grade, um, and then after that, I just quit sports completely. Play video games, because that's what I was more into um, than sports. And then I'm gonna do school, because obviously, like I said, that's that was priority number one. Around this time, I was playing 2K more. It's around the same time when I was like 17 that the 2K League got announced. I went for my first year. My first year in college was my first year going for the league. I got really close. I made the top 250, but I didn't make it, end up making it. I remember that was the first time I cried in like seven years. I was so hurt. Why were you so clutch? I really felt like I was one of the best players in the world. That's when the players started getting the calls back then. You, you used to get a call like, oh, you're in. I remember my friend called me. I'm, I told I just declined out. Like, yo, don't, don't call me, don't text me. Uh, I, I was crushed, but again, I, I picked up my shorts, realized that I had work to do, um, that I, I had stuff to get better at. Um, and next season, I went for it again, and here I am. I guess it gave you it gave you motivation, right? But now y'all didn't let a fire under my butt. Something that I'm gonna keep with me for the rest of my life, to be honest. Cause like even when like stuff gets tough now, like when when I'm like like I don't know if I can get through this. That that was one of my worst, if not the worst, part of my life back then. So and I got through that. So I can kind of like keep it with me and be like, ah, if I can get through that, <laughs> if I can get through that, I can get through anything type of thing. So how has it been? being a NBA 2K League pro player? Number one thing I'll say, it's a blessing, obviously. Um, as much, I, I, I say on Twitter, it's very stressful. Why is it so stressful? What, what makes it so stressful? I hate losing, I just don't like it. For example, on game days, I don't eat. You do not eat on game days? No, nah, like let's say we have a 10 p.m. game, I won't eat until after a game. 
Yeah, winning in this league, it's a very hard thing to do. Um, I finally won, won, a, won a tournament after four years of trying. Who is that person in the league that you can reach out to or call on? If I had to call anybody, uh, it'd probably be Rhea. Uh, I probably spent the most time with him uh, this this year out of all the league players. Um, I've been friends with him since both of our rookie years. If I had to be biased, everyone's, everyone would probably guess this answer too and say Reed. Yeah, he's been my closest friend for three years. We lived with each other for three years. So. What has it been like playing for Jeff? Uh, it's been really fun, actually. Uh, it's stressful. Um, because he, he does put a lot of pressure on winning, but he's my type of coach 100%. He's been a blast to play for. He's 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 my guy, to be honest. He's my teammate that's not on the floor with me. My four teammates, they get up and yell a little bit, but like they're not on the same level I am, but Jeff is, and he gets me hyped up. So what do you think has been the major difference between last year and this year? The funny thing is, I thought if I won more, I'd be less stressed. Uh, I've actually been way more stressed. That was probably the biggest surprise. Like, okay, I'm winning, but I'm still so stressed. Uh, so I have no clue what's going on. And I go on stage without a care in the world. So how do you want to be remembered? Um, I, I, I don't think I'm at the greatest level yet. I think there's a lot of people that are greater than me so far. Greatest is like your legacy, like what you've done in the league. Like, I think the GOAT right now in the Ticket League is Dave Pryor. So my boy, I came up with him. I think he's got the greatest title right now. How do I want to be remembered? Remembered. I said it season two before I joined the league. I want to be the greatest role player uh, that's ever played in the league. I think I'm on a good track to be do that. So best of luck to you, man, and congratulations again on all your success. It's been a blast.